this tutorial, we will be using Patterns, a new iOS app by Corel, to create and share a seamless pattern. Patterns created in the Patterns app can be shared to the Content Exchange, which can be accessed from CorelDRAW with your Corel.com account. Let's begin by launching Patterns. We have already signed into our Corel.com account. Your experience will be slightly different than what is shown here if you are launching the application for the first time. We recommend that you sign into your account to have the optimal experience and to access the advanced features. Once the app loads, you will see a thumbnail view of patterns that are available in the Content Exchange. The Content Exchange is an online community of graphics for and by Corel users that is based in the cloud. The patterns you see here are shared by other Corel users. If you tap on a pattern, it will go into a full screen view. You can swipe left or right to see the other patterns in this view. Let's go back to the thumbnail view. If you tap on the button on the top left, it will open the navigation panel. As you can see, there are many categories available in the Content Exchange. Content Exchange allows you to vote for and select as favourites patterns that you like so that you can access them at any time. To choose a pattern as a favourite, simply tap on the heart. To vote for a pattern, tap on the arrows and tap on either the up arrow to upvote or the down arrow to downvote the pattern. Let's go through the list to favourite and vote for a few more patterns. Now when you open the navigation panel and go to the favourites category, you will be able to see all the patterns you have marked as favourites. It is the same with upvotes. Your favourites and upvotes are synced with your Core.com account and are immediately accessible within CoreDraw when you are signed into your account. To create a new pattern, tap on the giraffe in the centre of the bottom panel. You can create a new pattern by taking a new photo with your camera or by using a photo that is already in your camera roll. We will use this photo that we have of mountains. When you tap on the photo, it will load a tiled view of the image where you can adjust it to create your own pattern. The bordered area that you see in the centre is the tile area, which is what the entire pattern is created from. You can move the photo around and pinch within this area to crop and rotate the photo to ensure that the tile area is filled. You can change how the photo fits within the tile at any point during the pattern creation. You can apply a blend to the pattern by tapping on the button at the bottom left. Here you can apply either a radial blend, a linear blend or both, depending on what you find appropriate for the pattern. As you can see, applying the blend makes a huge difference to the pattern, making it look seamless. You can also apply other adjustments to the pattern by tapping on the button at the bottom right. Here you can set the edge match, brightness, luminance and colour for the pattern. Edge match matches the edge of the tiles to make it more seamless and colour adjusts the saturation level of the photo. We'll go ahead and adjust the brightness as well. Once you are satisfied with the pattern, you can save and share the pattern to the content exchange. To do so, simply tap on the save button at the top right. Make sure you add a title and tags to associate with the pattern. To share the pattern to the content exchange, make sure the Share Pattern slider is set to On and select a category from the list. Once you are satisfied with the settings, tap on the Done button to save and share the pattern. Once the pattern is saved, you can tap on the Share button at the bottom left to share the pattern on Facebook, save it to your camera roll or email the pattern. To see the pattern that you have just shared to the content exchange, open the navigation panel and tap on the shared category. You will now see the pattern that you have just shared. We will now apply the pattern we have created and shared in patterns to this apparel design in Coral Draw. Select the objects on the page, go to the Object Properties Docker and click on Fill. Select the Bitmap Fill Type and open the Fill Picker. If you look at the Content Exchange, you will see that the same list and categories exist in CorelDRAW. Remember that the Content Exchange is in the cloud and the settings are synced with patterns through the Coral.com account and membership. If you click on the Favourites category, you will see the patterns you have marked as favourites in the Patterns app. 
When you click on the shared category under personal, you will see the pattern you have created and shared in patterns. Let's click on the pattern. You'll notice that the buttons in the action pop-up are the same as patterns, such as favourite and voting. Click on the apply button at the bottom left to apply the pattern. And there you have it. We hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use Patterns, a Corel app, to create and share seamless patterns. Be sure to download the new Patterns app from the iOS App Store and get ready to create beautiful patterns to share with the community of Corel users.